The discovery of a small organic molecule is still a trial and error process. It's so much unexplored still, so there's so many things we can still learn about the human body in general. Research is hard because we're pushing against the boundaries of human knowledge. I want to live in a world where paralysis is reversible. My team and I work on trying to understand how to make people with spinal cord injury walk again. I have this daily motivation of seeing people that suffer these traumas, that are suffering the consequences of them, and I am trying to understand both as a doctor and also as a researcher how we can make these people walk again. We are interested in new chemical reactions that make uh, products that people want. Or how can we take existing reactions that we know how to do and then do it faster or more safely or with better respect for our environment. I am a statistical geneticist and I work on genetics of depression. Depression affects 20% of the population and at the moment there isn't great diagnostics or treatment for depression. I would say that my work is an interesting mix of both the biological side of psychiatric disease as well as the statistical computational side of data analysis. The process we are focusing on is the process of aging. Cancer incidence increases during aging. So understanding aging means that we can understand the formation of the cancer and possibly introduce preventing measures to stop the cancer appearing in the first place. We usually use single cell technologies and spatial technologies, which they allow us to study old problems with a new perspective, so to speak. What we can do by stimulating the nervous system with electricity is, is already a lot. We can fix people's blood pressure, we can even connect their brain to their spinal cord to help them walk even more naturally. If I think about our work, what I hope to achieve is two things. One is to develop treatments to help patients that are in front of us right now. And the second thing in the long term is to change society's perspective on what it means to be paralyzed, that this is a potentially reversible condition. Yeah, I view education and mentorship as tremendously important and the biggest part of my job, uh, it's a joy to work with some of the students that we have at Harvard University. To lead a research group means I can turn my ideas into reality through working with people who are equally motivated and talented. I work as a part of a team, um, so I was a computational lead of this project. There's usually collaborations with different labs which might be specialized in different areas of research, so it's, it's rarely an isolated effort of one person, um, it's the team effort. So I think what, what makes our team extremely special is the breadth of expertise that we have and being able to go from computer science all the way to neurosurgery. One of the goals for my group in 2025 is to form greater connections with local hospitals to understand what are their difficulties and challenges and how we might incorporate those into our research. So by discovering new catalytic reactivity and then sharing that with the community, we hope we can accelerate uh, the process of that discovery. So I would uh, hope that in 2025, the research on the uh, female reproductive system gains more momentum and that it helps us to devise new therapies and new diagnostic approaches for both sexes. I, I think I'm quite optimistic that in the next couple of years, we will move towards a gene therapy in human patients with paralysis. Being awarded the Early Excellence in Science Award by the Bio Foundation means a lot to me. Uh, it means recognition of myself and my team's work uh, in the past number of years. It's amazing when people appreciate your uh, work in such a manner and um, for me personally as well, um, it helped me to boost my professional confidence. I think for me, when you win an award like this, that's a huge honor because this is something we spend every waking moment of our day thinking about and working on. On behalf of my whole research group, uh, we're all tremendously honored to receive the Early Excellence Award from the Bayer Foundation. Recognition from those in the community and real world users that our research is worth pursuing, that's the ultimate form of encouragement and uh, affirmation for a young group like us.